Hey guys, I know it's been a while since we've last made a video, but today I just wanted to do a quick video on how to configure BGP import and export policies. Now, this will be done in our Eve NG lab. What you see here is uh, pretty confusing, I understand. Uh, what we'll be focusing on is just these two routers, BGP Pier 1 and BGP Pier 2. I only included this, just uh, we've got a few static routes that's uh, pointing to the CPE1 here for all the subnets, 192.168.0.10, 1, 1.10 and 2.10, and the same on the side, 10.10, 11.10 and 12.10. Right, so we're not going to be focusing on this at all. They only exist so that we can configure static routes on these BGP peer routers, which we will then advertise to each other. Right, so let's look at the config. So yeah, we've got BGP peer one, and if we just do a show display set, Nothing much is happening here as usual. We just have the interface towards BGP Pier 2 and uh, that's got an IP of 10.10.10.1 slash 30. Then we just have an uplink to CPE1, which is the SRX where all these networks are connected to, right? So then I've just got a static route for those networks with the next hop of the SRX, right? And then I've just got a normal BGP setup here between the two. We've got eBGP set up. I will actually do a video on iBGP as well because the export policy changes a little bit. You just need to remember to include a next hop self statement, but for eBGP, it's not needed and I'll show you that just now. So let's have a look at the config on BGP Pier 2 and just to show it display set here. And you'll see it's exactly the same. We have a static route for these three subnets. Then we've got an uplink to BGP Pier 1 and another uplink to the CPE. Right, so if we go back to BGP Pier 1, we can just do a run show BGP summary and you can see that our BGP is up for the last 15 minutes, but we're not receiving any routes. Now, this is a slightly older Genos version. In the newer versions, you would see an ESTB for established on the right-hand side here, but it doesn't really matter. It's just that the layout changes slightly, but the config is still exactly the same. All right, so what will be attempting to do is we'll be advertising these three subnets to this BGP peer on this side. I just want to show you what you can do with BGP import and export policies, how to accept routes from certain neighbors, how to export routes into BGP from certain protocols, etc. So let's get right to it. Right, so the first thing you have to remember that if you want to export something into BGP, that route needs to be active in the routing table. So if we do a run show route here, you'll see that we've got these three routes, oh, sorry, not those three, these three routes, 192.168.0.0/24, 1.0/24 and 2.0/24. These match our static routes that we've set up. So the star here indicates that these are active routes. So it means that we can actually export them into BGP. If a route does not show up here or it does not have a star, meaning the active route, then unfortunately you won't be able to, to export it to BGP because that route does not really exist in the routing table. All right, so first off, we'll just go into top edit policy options here and we'll configure a policy statement. I'm just going to name it BGP export, right? So we'll just do set policy statement, uh, BGP dash export, because I want to export routes from this router to the other one, right? So set policy statement, BGP export. We'll configure a few terms here. So we'll just start off with term one. We'll say from protocol, right? And this is where you need to remember which routes you want to advertise. So these are static routes. So the protocol would be static, right? So we'll just do from protocol static, right? Then we want to add another statement under term one. I just made a few mistakes there. So let's just go into edit policy statement E of the BGP export here, just to make it a little bit easier, right? So all I've done is term one from protocol static. Then we'll do set term one from root filter. Okay. So what you want to do here is you want to match the route that you are advertising. This is not necessary for the routes to be exported. With this statement alone, you should be able to export all your static routes. But in case you have static routes that you don't want to export into PGP, it's best to just define a root filter, right? So we'll just uh, say 192.168.0.0/24 because that is the root as it is in the routing table and we'll say exact. Now you can define or longer, you can define many 
options here. So if we say or longer, this one, it'll mean that if this route matches exactly, or if we have a 192.168.0.3 slash 32, it will also be advertised because it falls within this slash 24 subnet, but it is a longer match route. I'm not going to confuse it too much with that, but we'll just use the exact statement for these at the moment. So we'll just go exact. And then we'll do exactly the same for the other two routes as well, 1.0 and 2.0, right? These, those are the correct routes that we want to advertise. Then we just say set term one, then accept because you want to uh, basically export these routes. You want the action to be accepted. Now, if we just do a show, that's pretty much all you have to do on the advertisers side. What you can do, well, that's not necessarily needed when it comes to export policies. It's just safer to do. We just do a set term reject. Let's just name it reject, then reject. Okay. So what it looks like now is it'll match on this. It'll be accepted and then anything else will be rejected. But as I said, for an export policy, the term reject is not really needed because you have to uh, define what you want to export anyway. But this is a good habit to have, All right? Because we'll be using this on the import policy. Okay, so then if we then, let's do a top and commit, I'm pretty sure it'll go through. All right, so now if we do run show root advertising protocol, BGP, I will just put in our BGP number, which is 10.10.10.2, .10 .10 right? And we're not advertising anything. So what you need to do is you're going to top edit protocols, PHP, we'll go into this group that we've got configured here. Let's just go up to the config, which is eBGP, right? So we just uh, eBGP, yeah. So let's just do a show and you'll see this is where our BGP is set up. So why is the route not being advertised? Well, you actually have to configure an import and export uh, statement here as well, right? So, or action. So we'll just say set export. now. Just before we do this, you can say set export to BGP dash export, or you can say set neighbor and export. So this is useful if you have more than one neighbor in a BGP group and you want to advertise different routes to different neighbors. But in our example, we only have one neighbor. So this statement here, set export BGP export, applies to the whole group. So every neighbor that's defined here will receive these routes. If you only specify a single neighbor for an export policy, only that neighbor will receive the routes you are exporting. All right, we'll just use the normal set export BGP export. Now, if we do a show here, now you'll see we've got that as an export policy configured and we can go ahead and do a commit. So now if we run the same command again, I'm not going to type it out, copy and paste. Now you'll see we've got these routes being advertised to that BGP neighbor. And you'll see that the next top is set to self. This is a default behavior for eBGP. When it comes to iBGP, it's a little bit more tricky. You actually have to configure the next top self statement. But as I said, we'll cover that in a future video. Right, so let's go ahead over to BGP peer two. And if we do a run show root receive protocol, we'll do BGP and we type in our neighbor's address here. This will show us all routes we are receiving via BGP from this neighbor. And you'll see we are actually receiving these routes. Okay, and if we do a run show route, we should see these routes active in the routing table. And we are learning it via BGP. So the star there means it's active. It's learning it via BGP. And the next hop is this guy. All right, so this is pretty unsafe <laughs> because this guy can then just send you rogue routes and bring down your network. I mean, if I now configure a static route, default route and advertise it, I mean, this guy will receive a default route and your whole network would probably break. So that is where import policies come in. So if we go top edit policy options, policy statement, and we'll just say BGP, dash import. Yeah, you can define which routes you want to receive from which neighbor. So if we only want to receive this route, okay, one on two, one, six, eight, zero, dot zero, we just say set term one from protocol BGP, right? Set term one from root filter. And now we're going to say one on two, dot one, six, eight, dot zero, dot zero, slash 24 exact. 
oops, exact, and set term one, then accept because we want to accept those roots. And then once again, set term reject, then reject. You can name this term whichever you want or whatever you want, just as long as it will be below the accept terms. Because if we move this one one up, then this term will not take effect. Right, so that's going to be it for our BGP import policy. But uh, let me just show you if we run this command again, run show root receive protocol BGP, you'll see, but we are still receiving that root. All right, so, so this is the, exactly the same as earlier. You need to define the import policy in your BGP group. So we'll just go edit protocols, uh, BGP group, eBGP, it's exactly the same here. So we'll just do a show. And then we can say set import, and we say BGP dash import. All right, and you can do exactly the same here as well. If you do a set neighbor 10.10.10.1 import, you can define the import policy here as well. Okay, so, but for us, we're just going to apply to the whole group. So we do show, and now we've got an import policy. All right, now if we do a commit here, now we can do the same run, show root receive protocol BGP and the neighbor's address. And I think I lost connectivity. I'll be right back. All right, sorry, I lost the connectivity to my lab here. Yeah. So if we just, uh, this is just the BGP uh, config here. So we've got the import policy. Now, if we do the run show root receive protocol BGP and we type in the neighbor's address, now we should see only a single root. And uh, there we go. So even though this guy over here, if we do run show, oops, run show root advertising protocol bgp 10.10.10.2 because .10 uh, that's the neighbor you'll see we are advertising three routes but we are only receiving one route from this bgp neighbor due to our import policy now if you just want to accept everything from this neighbor we can just go back into top edit policy options policy statement uh, e bgp import and uh, under term one we'll just say edit term one Set from root filter 192.168.1.0 slash 24 exact. And we'll do the same for the 2.0 slash 24. And if we have a look at our statement here, now it says from protocol BGP, then all these routes will be accepted. Okay, so then we can do a commit. This is only for term one. If we just have a look at the whole policy there, I edit policy options. Show display set, then you'll see we've got a few options there under term one, and then term reject is a reject. So if we go ahead and commit, which we've already done. Now, if you do run show root receive protocol, BGP, and we type in that neighbor again, 10.10.10.1. Now we are receiving all three routes. And if we do a run show root, you'll see that we now have all three of these routes once again. All right, that's going to be it for this video. It's a very quick one. You can obviously do the exact same in the reverse. If you want to advertise from BGP peer two to BGP peer one, then we'll just uh, use the exact same policy options that we've uh, configured here. Basically, just the modify whichever routes you want to advertise, uh, then accept, then reject, and put it onto the export in the eBGP group over here. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, we hope to see you in the next one.